Welcome to Radiance and Rosé, the podcast about anti-aging, beauty, and lifestyle. Accept and try to fight. So here we are fighting. And I have in the studio today Amber Forrester of 39, 39 Quartz. Yeah. Uh, and uh, hey. Hey. So happy to have you back. Yay. Not yes, back, but here. Back. Right? Yes. <laughs> so... Yes. Um, for those of you who don't know Amber, Amber is um, the founder and creative director and everything else of Thirty Nine Quartz, and uh, which is a I wellness. I change the light bulbs too. You, you, <laughs> you do everything. I do it all, right? Um, which is self care, but also wellness. And so I thought that she'd be amazing because I mean, while you can't see her, she is hot uh, and um, aging so gracefully. And I wanted to take this time just to find out your secrets. Yes, sleep. Right. <laughs> we'll start there. I don't, I don't have that luxury. But, right, um, right. but sleep obviously is, is uh, huge for, um, you know, combating aging. Yeah. And, um, and it's a huge beauty secret. Yeah. Um, so so sleep. Sleep. Well, and other, other – a full regimen. Okay, so so 39 quarts, we focus on self-care. That's right. – uh, we, we do so much. We give so much of ourselves to everyone else. What do we have left for ourselves? That's where self-care comes into play, tending to our thoughts, taking care of ourselves, taking the time to take a step back and – and reflect on where we've gotten, where we want to go, and take care of ourselves because otherwise we burn out, and we don't want to do that. Right, right. No, it's huge. I mean, it's it's huge. It's it, it's like it's really difficult. The older we get, the more we take on, the more we're managing. We're responsible for so many things, for so many people. Yes. And oftentimes, you know, you look in the mirror after that a long day, us? you're like, yeah. whoa, whoa, hey. Yeah, <laughs> I was out. I was out all day looking like this. Or... Right, right. <laughs> so, I ran into a friend the other day. She was like, "Your eyes are so red." I'm like, "Cause I don't sleep." I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and you have a, a, pre- a pretty young baby. I so. do. I have a ten month old. Oh God, yeah, you, and a right. seven year old. Um, but I have my grandmother uh, is 89 years old. Oh, God, God bless, bless her you. soul. Right. She is a beautiful, beautiful woman from the inside out, and she always slept and she always walked. And so I've she she stressed the importance of of sleeping and walking and of feeling good and really being happy because ultimately if we don't feel good we don't look good. No, that's absolutely the truth. You and, know, and you see it. I mean, even though you know we're um, I hate to say, but I am I, you know middle aged, hopefully, right? <laughs> <laughs> and so um, you know, but it mean, but it's a blessing, right? Yeah. I mean, I feel like the alternative a, is dead. A lot of people have not made it this far, <laughs> right. right? So I'm happy like that we've yes, gotten this thank far. God. Um, so do you have like beauty secrets, like any family, you know, yeah. beauty secrets in terms of like what, how you. Like how you maintain yourself. Yeah, yeah. So outside of the sleep and the the, the sleep yeah. really you know, is huge. so key. It's huge. You know, because when some, some people say to me, "Oh, I only sleep four hours a night, five hours I don't a know night," how that's possible. Your right. cells need time to regenerate. Right. You do too. Right. Like no, you know. Absolutely. I mean, the my my key top thing is sleep, but I can't always get that. So some of the other things um, that I do in my self care regimen. Um, Include hot yoga, sweating, and cleansing the pores. Yeah. Well, so... Or vinyasa. Because if vinyasa it's vinyasa. Can... I do more vinyasa flow. I go to um, a place, Fire Shaper Studios, um, a, a yoga instructor that I was that I met at my gym actually introduced me to it. And I am a brown girl who does not want to sweat her hair out. And so right. I was like, <laughs> I don't want to be in anybody's studio right. doing hot yoga. But it's so worth it. And where is only, where is uh, Fire Shaper? So there are a few of them. There's Tenafly, Rutherford, um, but there's other. I would just you know l- look up wherever you are because hopefully you're listening from other parts of the world. Right, right. Of course. Look up uh, hot yoga or Bikram yoga in your area, and the uh, some of the benefits of it are not only the tone and definition that you get from the yoga, but also the cleansing of your pores that you get from sweating like hell the right, whole time. Right, right. No, it's awesome. I right. mean, I feel like I come out of there, and once I wash all the sweat off, I'm glowing. No, right. Yeah. No, but you know, it's it's. I, I I've done Bikram. I don't always have the time for a class that lasts an hour and a half. Yeah. But oh, oh, they have. A, I do the hour one. They oh, have you an do. hour one too. Okay. Yeah. Because Bikram, but you melt. It's a melt. Oh no no no. Yeah. No. I no. I've been there. And, you, and you're in there. Like when you get halfway through, you're like, why did I do this? Right. 
why am I here? I think <laughs> like, I, can't, I can't get out. I'm, right. like, I'm trapped. I can't wrap it around. 45 minutes left. <laughs> yeah. But but that's that's one of the beautiful things about taking classes is that, you know, you don't want to look like the weak one in the class. Right, sometimes right, that right. inspires so you, you to keep going. Right. No, no, you no. Know? Right. And we need that in life in different no, ways absolutely. just to be inspired to keep going. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's definitely one that, um, that, that, that melting stops the melting, I right. guess, <laughs> in, its, in its ways. Ironically. Right. 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 Um, I also, I take the time to meditate and to center myself. Um, I don't get to do it every morning because of the kids, but I definitely, um, whenever I feel, I feel very aligned in my journey on life. I feel like I've gotten to a point spiritually where I have a relationship with God and the universe where I, I feel aligned. And I know when I'm not aligned, when I feel off, I feel like it shows to me and maybe if it doesn't to other people, it doesn't matter because if I feel it, then it's, right. it no, needs to be addressed. Absolutely, right. Um, and so I make sure that um, I'll take the time to recenter myself. And by doing that, you know, there's different forms of meditation. Sometimes um, some people think it's like a solitude, sit in solitude and like hum. But really, it's just sitting and listening, calming our thoughts to listen and to receive. I, for me, it's listening to. Uh, that connection that I have with the universe and with God. And that that I think that that shows, although it's a spiritual thing and it's mental, it shows on the outside. So like I like to say, that's a part of what 39 Quartz, a part of my focus is beauty from the inside out. Because we can Love get it. so caught up in looking good. But do you feel good is and what it's all about. a lot of times about. you don't. A lot of times you're masking how you really feel. Right. So. It, you know, it kind of goes the opposite way. So, yeah. and, and we see that with social media, right? People who like do things externally. Sorcery. Right. <laughs> the sorcery of social media. Yes. It's true. The sorcery. The filters. Right. And the all. filters. And, I mean, sorcery is like the best word because you, <laughs> see, you see people on I on social media and then you see them in person. You're like, what? Right. What? Right. Like, right. that's not, oh, hey. Yeah. Like almost unrecognizable. Right. Because, like you said, it's sorcery. These filters are sorcery. And right? they might not be feeling as good as they're looking. But right. Well, how... clearly. Right. Clearly they're not feeling as good as they're looking because right. they're using all these filters. And then they get that. They get the external attention based on something that's not actual. And so and they, they don't get the, the likes. Right. And, and not if the you real don't get, substance. If you don't get the attention, then you don't really feel as whole. So it's like it's not real. It's just bizarre it's not, right. what's happening right now with the 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 way it's flowing. Whereas if you really feel good about yourself, the attention is not the focus. No. Nor do you feel the need to post because that's not you don't care about the external accept acceptance. It, you care about how you uh, really feel. Right there, light right. bulb. Right. Right. Which is the reason why neither one of us really likes social media that much. <laughs> I'm on a social media fight all the time. Right. I'm like, okay, I have to be here, but I don't want to be. I know. They get to like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, so 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 yeah, yeah. So there. So there's there's that, and that, and that happens. But we have to check in with ourselves and make sure that we're really feeling as good as, as we're looking. Right. And so that's where, for me, that's where the the taking the time to self reflect, the journaling, the meditation comes into play for sure. And so you also journal. I journal. Okay. I do. I journal. I make gratitude pages. I make a list at the beginning of every month of what goals that I have. And then I check those things off. And at the end of the month, I look back and I'm like, oh, look at all those things I checked off. Oh, I love that. Because otherwise I, I forget that. sometimes how much I've accomplished. But I think that those things, feeling good on the inside is a part of what what really comes through on the outside. Because otherwise I might be okay. Look, right. if I if I were if I felt bad, I might be real halfway basic but I feel good and so it comes across and it and then and it makes me look better and I, I really have always admired women who might not be what the traditional sense of beauty is right but they look so good because you can tell they love themselves and right. they feel good and you no, and see that's, and that that's, and you can tell and it's inspiring because you're like yeah. wow you know what what is she doing you know yeah. what I mean? It's not necessarily like what product is she using, but it's more so like what is she doing on her day and during her day to day? Yeah. Right? What's her daily regimen that makes her feel like why is she glowing? Yeah. I need to find out why she's glowing. Right. Like, what's her glow? Right. right. <laughs> I use the products too, though. I won't lie. All right. So wait. So wait, let's get into products. Let's get into some products. Let's find out what's going on with these products. Um, my staple forever, and I'm sure other people have come in, come on and said this, but La Mer has been a staple forever. Right. So some for some for me, it's too rich. It's so. So I so that actually it's funny you say that. 
I don't use it every day. Okay. I use it. And, um, and so which products do you use specifically? The cream. The cream. I buy the cream okay. once a year on my birthday. And I usually stretch it throughout the year because okay. it's 150 it, bucks and I ain't trying to buy it that often. <laughs> right. Real talk, real talk. But your skin is amazing. <laughs> Thank and, you. And it's poreless. I use it great. under my eyes mostly and on my forehead because ah. that's where we're getting, as we age, we u- we lose our elasticity and our volume under our eyes. Right. And then we wrinkle in our foreheads most easily. So that's where I put it. Okay. Um, but I use a vitamin C serum. I use... Um, uh, the Psalm Institute. They have a really, really amazing Wait, how regimen. Wait, how are you spelling? Psalm, S-O-M-M-E, okay. Institute. So it's not like the Bible. No, okay. no, no, not, like, not Psalms, <laughs> although it could be. <laughs> like, I'm going to knock them off. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Wait, so Psalm Institute? The okay. Psalm Institute. Yeah, they have... Um, I lived in Miami for a few years, and I thought that because I'm brown that I can't get sun damage, and I did not use any uh, sunblock, and I got sun damage on my face, and the Psalm Institute turned that around, a couple little sun sunspots that I had, their regimen of vitamin C and vitamin A, uh, and their um, moisturizer helped to turn that around and make my skin smooth. Um, it's also about what we're eating. Like I, I make sure that I drink a lot of water. I drink matcha green tea on a regular basis. Matcha is delicious. It's so delicious. Actually, um, a, you know, the, our nearby cafe has great matcha. Yeah. 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 It's so good. Green tea is, is so good for you. I've, I grew up, um, in my family, my aunt is, she's, 60 something now but she's been drinking green tea and doing yoga forever and she looks amazing wow she does and i mean between it's, I mean, my, it's natural antioxidant right yes yeah and we need that and speaking of antioxidants i eat a lot of berries i really believe that uh, although these products are important they're getting they they hike the price up and it's like okay if you go and you put good things in your body it's going to show right. so i go to the grocery store <laughs> i'm there right. like I, I i drink pomegranate juice i um, I eat a lot of blackberries and blueberries. Um, so I, I really believe that beauty is from the inside out. And so we can slap whatever we want on our skin, but if we're not taking care of ourselves inside, from the yeah. inside, right. then it, then it shows. Right. Yeah. I yeah. I can't, I can't tell you what, the, what my family used to say, but you, it's like, you can't shine ish. Like you can't, like, right. you know, you try to put a bunch of like glitter on top of ish. Right. It's still right. shiny ish. Right. Right. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so, right. Um, yeah. Yeah. So when you eat, you, when you're eating terribly, you're, t- you're trying to put glitter on. Yeah. G- glitter on the ish. Right. The glitter yeah. on the ish. Don't put glitter on your ish. Right. And and and, and eating, being eating healthy food doesn't mean all the time. Right. I'm in moderation because I will also no, right. I mean, have some on. barbecued right. ribs or something if they're right. good and they're on the grill. But I make sure that. I I don't do it too much, and right. I mix in these healthy things within my diet. The from you know uh, from the berries and and whatnot to even um, well internally, but externally like turmeric internally for inflammation. Tumeric, externally, right. aloe, aloe ingesting aloe, eating drinking aloe, or putting it on our hair, so healthy. There are these things that worked for. Tens of thousands of years before right. we had all these beauty companies. Before it was like $150 a bottle for shampoo with aloe shampoo. Right. I'm like, right. what did Cleopatra do? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do what right. she did. Like, what did she do? Right. You know? No, that's great. That's I mean, it's so many products. Um, You do a lot, which is great, which is awesome. Yeah. I have a, I have a, I'm, I'm a bit you're of a product whore. Can I you're, say you're, that? Yeah, you are. You, <laughs> listen, I'm a product whore too. Right, so I always right. want to know about new products, which is the reason why we're starting, you know, um, Slow Melt, because I just really think that everyone has secrets, yeah. right? Like some people put like, like put together a mask, a hair mask with like oatmeal and or like egg yolk mm-hmm. or, you know, a number of different things. Mm-hmm. So I'm just always I'm wanting to know more about it. I mean, I go on Pinterest and try to find different yes. remedies. And oh, my God. Pinterest is like I know, it's freaking so I know. The, the Bible of beauty. I these know. Days. We need to check where, Pinterest. So. Right. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Pinterest. <laughs> Send check to <laughs> River Road. <I> <laughs> Seriously. But uh, that's how I found out about the aloe vera uh, hair treatment. Uh, really? Aloe vera, apple cider vinegar. Right. You ACV know, is awesome. It's huge. Mm, um, even like clarifying. Even having like just lemon water in the morning. Yes. Right, just kind of detoxifies the body. And based on, you know, the, the drinks we might have had the night before, like helps that us. That lemon water comes in handy. <laughs> comes in yes. Handy. Right. All right. Great. Well, um, you know, I don't want to spend too much time, but I think that this was like a lot. Right. We have... 
a ton of products that that Amber is using, and and we'll put a picture of her just so you understand the amazing <laughs> effect it's having on her. Right? Uh, <laughs> but it's it's really if I can leave everyone with one thing: beauty from the inside out. Beauty from sure. the inside out. Check her out. Thirty nine quarts dot com. Self care yes. wellness. She has a number of retreats coming up where it's going to be some really dynamic people and women. Yes. Who are also, um, you know, fighting this the slow melt, yes. and um, uh, you know, check her out, and you know, keep on following us. Um, we are um, slowing down our melt. Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Okay. Thanks for listening. To keep up with new episodes, hit subscribe. For info on products or topics we've discussed, hop on over to our Instagram or Facebook page at Radiance and Rose. 